Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to my channel. So I figured I would go ahead and make a video about if I was gonna be starting my notary business right now in 2023. What would I do and what would I do differently? Let's get into it. All right, so let's address the monkey in the room, okay? Everybody's here for one reason and one reason alone, for the money. If you're a new notary, you're here because you heard about all the money all the notaries was making doing loan signing, right? Of course you are. So, and were they lying? No, they weren't lying. Was it a lot of money? It sure was. Is it still going on right now? No, it's not. I'm going to be very honest. It's not going on right now. But are people still making money being a notary? Yes, that's a real thing. And it really does make you money. It ain't making loan signing money. I'm not going to lie to you. Now, the rates were really, really good. And that's what in turn made just like being a notary the best thing since sliced bread, to be completely honest with you. I made a lot of money. Most notaries did it. But as of right now, now you have to branch out and figure out what else can you do besides loan signing. So I'm going to give you a couple of tips what you can do besides loan signing. When you hear people say the notary industry is dead, notary is gone, don't believe them. Do you know why people was making all that money in the very beginning? even before the rates because nobody knew about being a loan signing agent. Listen, it was like industry's best kept secret. That's what I heard a realtor call being a loan signing agent. It's just the truth of the matter. People want you to dis discard it, act like it's, it's gone, it's dead because they want to make all the money. People are like crabs in a bucket. Let me let you know. There's enough money for everybody. So it's no need to be like that. If it can change my life, it can change your life too. So why would I not tell you? That's why I give this information out for free on my channel. Because I can't make all the money. I can't be in every spot. I can't say yes to every appointment. So that's why it's enough for everybody. So I mean, ultimately... It's out there to get it. You just got to get it. So I'm going to give you a couple of pointers on what I would do if I was just starting my, my notary business right now, this year, today. The first thing I would do is set up my Google My Business page. And I know it's like beating a dead horse. Why? Because I say it in almost every one of my videos. But your Google Business page is what's going to make you make money, ultimately in the very beginning. I mean, you. however you swing it, you need to have your pictures, your reviews, put the keywords in there. Go look at some other, other videos and you'll know exactly how to make your Google business page awesome. But ultimately, that's one of the first things I would do is get that Google My Business page popping. That's the first thing. Okay, so another thing I would do is download Canva. So you don't have to get the free the the paid one. You can get the free one. So I personally have the paid one. It's like twelve ninety nine a month, but you make your money off of it. Like literally hand over fist. You can do your business cards, your business flyers, any kind of marketing. You can do little commercials that you want to put on your social media, and you don't got to come up with it all in your brain. There's templates, so it's just very very. It's beneficial. You can use it and do a lot of different things. And you know what? Speaking of that, let me show you what I do. So I ultimately try to market all the time. Marketing is very big. You want to give somebody not just your card, but something physical that reminds them that you're in business. So look, this one of the things I do. So look, this little box here came from Dollar Tree. $1.25. I put Dollar Tree candy in there and I hot glue a business card right here. Now, when I go give my business cards out, 
I can leave this on their counter so people that love something free can get candy. And then look, they'll read this. So ultimately, and the person whose business it is, if anybody comes in there and asks for a notary, they're going to remember, oh, I got that notary card on the box. And this gives you a reason to come visit them at least once a week to refill your little box. You got to come up with little easy ways to market and build a rapport. That's huge. So, that's so another thing that I would do is do my research and find good training outlets. So when I say that, I mean find somewhere that's teaching what you want to learn. Don't just kind of go with what everybody's saying. So when I first started, I did not know. I made a lot of mistakes. And not to say anything bad, but I did um, Notary to Pro. And honestly, when I got done, I didn't feel like I learned anything more than I already knew. Like what social media had already taught me. So... If I could do it all over again, I would have definitely done a different um, a different class. But long story short, just doing that notary to pro, because so many people know about it, it got my foot in the door to go with different um, signing companies that would have never touched a new person. But because I took a well-known class, that opened the door for me. So in, in that aspect, it really, really did help. But other than that, I would have maybe opted to get um, a different class. But either way, that's in the past. So my thing is, get some good training. Do your research. Find a training program that's good for your state. Don't get the one that everybody says is the best, and it's in Texas, and you in Florida. Or you're in, in Texas and this one is in Florida. You need to get one that specifically is going to teach you about your state. And not just loan signing. You need something that's going to be like an all-around type of thing. Not just loan signing. Not just general notary. But all of it together in a nutshell. Because you honestly, you're going to pay at least two, $300. And that's the truth. And then if you get like the more popular ones the one guy uh what his name is he's always advertising he's everywhere i wouldn't recommend i think it's the loan signing system or something like that that's too much i know somebody that took that class it's too much you don't have to spend that much in order to learn this so ultimately just do your research find out what's good for you and go ahead and get the training that you need it's worth it Okay, so another tip I have is to market. Market, market, market. Market to everywhere you can think of. Market yourself on one, two, three notary. You might have to pay a couple dollars. It's worth it. Notary Cafe. It's worth it. That's where title companies are going to find you. Even if you're not full-blown doing loan signing, you can do quick claim deeds. You can do general, not uh, general warranty deeds. Like small things like that, you can do that. And a lot of times, title companies will contact you not just for that, but to do like a proxy where you're taking pictures of properties that somebody out of state is going to buy. Who do you think they call for that? Notaries. They find you on 123 Notary or Notary Cafe. Many, many attorneys have found me on those sites. And they're not attorneys right here locally. Okay? Um, so that Tow, tow companies, retirement centers, um, hospitals. Wherever you can think of, you need to market there. Always keep your cards with you, always. And then on Canva, make you a flyer. If you see any um, apartment complexes that have majority of people that you think might need passport papers, immigration papers, anything like that, make you a flyer. Um, Canva has the flyers that you can cut up the size and put your number on there. Make you some copies, put them in their laundromats. Like you gotta, 
get your car magnet. You can do that on, um, I, well, I think you can do it on Canva. You can do it on Canva. You can do it on Vistaprint. You can do it on a couple of different places. I want to say even Amazon. Get your car magnet. Get you some little decals for the front of your car. If you can, if you know somebody that do um, shirt printing, get you some shirts. Notary Public. Notary Public on your hats. If you don't tell somebody you're a notary, baby, they're not going to know. Okay, another thing I'm going to say is find out exactly what it is that you are trying to accomplish with your business, with your notary business, and write it down. Don't keep it up here because then sometimes you can get sidetracked. You can get unmotivated. Write it down. Put it on your bathroom mirror. Put it on your bedroom mirror. Put it on your vanity. Whatever it is, write it down. Index cards, sticky notes, whatever it is. And post it so you can see that thing every day. Because what you are motivated to do, you will make time for it. I know we all busy. But the more time you put into it, the more your business will grow. If you say, oh, it's going to take me three, four months to get everything I want done. You ain't really dedicated to this thing. You got to... Know that this is what you want to do and do it. So when you have free time, don't watch movies. Don't sit and be on social media doing nothing. Get on YouTube. YouTube is going to show you all kind of dis different ways to further your business. Get on to learn about sales, marketing, people that are actually doing this and that's bigger than you. That's what you need. And that brings me to my next point. What I think is very beneficial, what I did, and it helped me out tremendously. Surround yourself with like minds. Find you in these, in these groups. So whether it's Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, whatever it is that you are on more, go ahead, join some notary groups and comment. Look at the conversations, comment, and see who's in your state, who's in your city, and contact them. Send them a message. Hey, would you mind meeting up if it's somebody that you seem like, and I'm not talking about a love connection. I'm talking about women or men, like that, so same sex. I'm telling you that because that's what made a huge difference when I first started. I got to meet two wonderful women, Janae and Glenda, who really just helped me so much. We would meet up, put our thoughts together, our minds together, and we were all new notaries. And we motivated each other. And we ultimately, all three of us was doing loan signing. We were just starting. And it helped us grow. We set goals. We just kind of put our heads together. One person did this, one person did that, another person did this. We would meet up every other week, come together, put our minds together, and see where we're at. So, And I mean, we would even hold each other accountable. You need things like that. Yeah, you already got your regular friends, but you need somebody that's going to hold you to a standard and say, Hey, did you do your marketing? Did you make those flyers you wanted to do? Did you make the little video? Did you go Did you go to the title company you said you wanted to market to? Did you go to that retirement home? Remember you said that? Did you go? When did you go? Did you follow up? You need that. I promise you. It really made a huge difference. And to this day, I love those ladies. Ultimately, it just really makes a, a very, very big difference. So if you don't have to get like a whole 12 friends. Get you one or two friends. And y'all don't have to be best friends, but it's going to serve a purpose. It's going to get you where you need to be here. Okay, another, another thing I want to tell you what I would do differently that I didn't do in the beginning, but I know better now. Whenever I do any appointments, especially with realtors, with title companies, just with everyday people, always get their email address. And, the, and don't just like, just get a whole bunch of business cards. I would ultimately get a book. Go on Amazon and get like an actual book itself. And that's all you would do is keep up with email addresses and phone numbers. So you can 
kind of build a rapport, a relationship with these people. And ultimately, and not just saying, hey, I'm available, but hey, happy New Year's. Hey, Merry Christmas. Whatever it is, like whatever the holiday is, you might come up with something cute, make a little template, and send it out to maybe 10 people on that list or 20 people on that list or whatever. But it's just basically keeping you in the forefront. So when it comes to somebody needing a notary, their coworker or anything like that, they gonna think of you because you always sending them something, always saying something. I'm not saying spam them. I'm not saying give them a whole bunch of junk mail. Nobody wants that. But what I'm saying is keep up with them. Don't do the appointment and forget all about them because it can mean the difference between repeat business and I get tons of repeat business. So you never know. Okay. I just, remember three other places that i would market to so i know don't don't think crazy funeral homes you will be surprised how many documents need to be notarized in that process i have went to funeral homes and i've done lots of documents so funeral homes car dealerships the mom and pop car dealerships even the bigger ones they need notaries to do all kind of documents there when a, a car is from another state and it comes in, in there and they try to sell it to somebody, a VIN verification has to happen. And ultimately before they leave off the lot. And I would say a couple of local title companies. So title companies that may be within 10, 15 miles radius from where you live. Google it, title company near me. Go on Canva, make you up a hello flyer introduce yourself send it to them and not just one person but it's probably 15 20 people work there send it to them hey just want to introduce myself i know you probably have a in-house notary already but in case she's ever not available i am in case she's not mobile i am in case she doesn't work evenings i do all of that maybe the, the the 10 miles around your house that little radius so you don't have to drive far but i would just ultimately write their email addresses down save them and market to them thank you for coming by my channel and look forward to more videos i'm going to be posting a, a general notary video this week so look out